Welcome. Um, I'll just give a short introduction to myself and to what my kind of mindset was uh, in doing this mural. And then you guys can actually send me some questions. So yeah. Cool. Um, so my name is Mike. Uh, I'm from Detroit. Uh, I was born in Ohio. Um, I'm an artist and architect. So I was formerly trained as an architect uh, in Detroit. And I still practice.
I guess I was kind of influenced by, I've never like been formally trained in painting, but I did take a painting class in high school. And the one thing I remember from uh, my teacher there was uh, kind of what you see, not what you do see. So I think that that can be applied to a lot of things, you know, just like be honest with what's in front of you. And don't try to construe it into something else or, and communicating with people. Don't try to tell them what they think they want to hear. Right? So and then uh, hard part was coming up with like titles to put on books because uh, I didn't just want to represent what I thought was a good book or what taught me some things in life. So uh, just in raw painting, you know, uh, I painted with my partner Molly. She couldn't be here, uh, but we asked um, people walking by just what their favorite books are. Um, and so we included a, a lot of those. And in doing so, we found that, I don't know if there's like a sizable Jamaican population here, but we ran to a lot of Jamaican people, like, you know, first generation Jamaican people. Um, so one uh, woman we talked to, her favorite book was Mimic Men, which I never heard of. Uh, but apparently it's about, um, it was written by a Jamaican immigrant and his experience kind of going to England back in the day, a long time ago, uh, trying to mimic what he saw, and that was kind of how you survived uh, as an immigrant. So I, I don't know, just like simple things like that, that we learned while doing this. Um, so I, I don't know, I guess that's kind of the gist of it, and then I guess I'll just answer a couple questions that you guys submitted.
running around doing things that, you know, nobody was busy, right? So, I don't know, there was something kind of in the air during that time for me that gave me freedom to kind of um, maybe not ruminate on ideas more, it's kind of like a negative word, but like just let things settle longer in terms of like thoughts that I would have about you know, depicting ideas or, or making a color or piece of art or something. Um, so maybe marinated is the better word. It's more marination. What advice do you have for young artists? I don't know, I don't really like that idea of like giving people advice. Cause like what works for me isn't gonna work for you and vice versa. Um, so I guess I would say don't, uh, don't take other people's advice. You know? um, how do you overcome creative blocks for other challenges? Uh, I think like with the, with the idea of like a creative block, by like ruminating on things that get stuck in the cracks. So the idea is to, just to not have a brain with all these crevices, but just have a smooth brain and things just bounce off of it. So um, I don't know, I enjoy that hard work. Um, I think it's like easier to process things when you're not internalizing them so much. And that's not to say don't, you're not supposed to think about things, I guess, but it can be detrimental. So I think it's bad. So, that's how I overcome the food. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's kind of all the thoughts I had about it. Uh, I don't know if you guys have any questions. Or... What was your favorite part about painting this mural? Um, the part I just did with the flowers, because uh, it was not stressful at all. <laughs> uh, and it was very quick. Um, you know, my, one of my least favorite part? Sure. <laughs> uh, the background. The background, I, I never like painting backgrounds. Um, I always just rush through them. Uh, just because they seem to take half the time. And you don't focus on it at all. So I never thought they were that important. <laughs> That was fun, yeah, for sure. Um, a lot of people's favorite books are kids' books. I don't know if that's because people stop reading at some point, or <laughs> maybe, uh, I guess I'm But yeah, I learned a lot of good book references. Like, people exist in this very narrow window of comfort, right? And if you fall outside of that, like, just stay outside for eight hours, and it's like, wow. Um, you know, two degrees will make you very comfortable. Um, but yeah, a flow state, I don't know. I, honestly, I like, um, it's always kind of painful to paint for me. It, like, I like when it's done more. And that's kind of why I do it, but it's always, it's never been that enjoyable. I wouldn't call it enjoyable, it's work. Um, I'm going to do it because like, it's worth it to me, but when it's good, it works well. So. But yeah, let's say it's that. Oh. You feel accomplished. 
Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. I don't know, I'm trying to more get away from that because like, I feel like our culture places so much emphasis on productivity. This is awesome, oh. I just love it. Oh, good. And uh, <laughs> like what you do and what have you done, right? It's, I don't think that's really why we're here. It's more to enjoy what we're doing. So I'm trying to get to that. push through the work Yeah. Oh. do you mean that? Oh. Let's do it. Honestly, uh, I probably couldn't do it alone. I did. I do all this stuff with my partner, um, and yeah, I, I don't know if I would do girls if I was by myself. Really don't. Uh, but we kind of bounce off each other in that way, and encourage each other. Like you need some kind of community or support to do, a, do most things. But yeah, when I was, like, I did do a couple days by myself, and just relying on people going by and talking to them, and, like, just people going by and saying that they loved it and appreciated it, and, you know, that's enough to keep going, I think. Um, I'm really drawn to, like, muted colors. Um, I like... Like earthy natural colors, like it's usually the palette I'm doing stuff in. Uh, just because, I don't know, I think when things are more like washed out and muted, you have to look at it more rather than something being super vibrant and contrasty that's kind of telling. It's kind of like somebody talking very loudly at you versus somebody you know, quietly trying to tell you a story. Or like, I want to listen to that story more because it seems like fun. Because they're not as... They don't need you to hear it. Right? Uh, it's not a needy... Like, I'm not drunk to like a needy palette cow.